Hey guys, we're doing a fitting today on the rear seats of a Hilux. We're doing it on a 2015 SR5 model. Uh, we're doing it in the canvas grey today. Uh, all we're going to do is do the full backrest, the 60-40 slip, split base, and the three headrests. So, when you first get it, it will have come in a package. I've already unwrapped all that. You would have had your card that displaying what it was, and the disclaimer on the back of it. Um, there will be some fitting instructions on the back, but um, we're just going to go through it so we have a little bit more of um, an understanding on what might be a problem for some people to uh, grasp. So, when you first get it, you will open it up. The thing on the outside will be your armrest. So, your armrest is in the middle of the backrest. That's got the duck logo. Then, if you open it up more, you'll see that you'll have your headrests. There will be three, there will be two that are the same, and one that is different. The one that is different is your center headrest. And the other two are for both the left and right side. They are the exact same, so they don't have a specific size that they need to go on, so they just say what they are. Each individual thing will have their own label. So, for instance, this uh, center headrest will say, CTR on the end of it, which stands for center. The armrest and like the other two headrests, they don't have um, specific things because the AR on the end of what HX157AR means is armrest model. So that's why that's like that. Open it up more, then you'll first see you'll have your 40 split. So that's why it says the dot 40 on the end of it. Open it up again, you have another base, and that'll be your 60 split. That's why it says 60 on it. And then the biggest piece is your backrest. Now that also doesn't have uh, anything to do with what side it is because it's the only one. Um, there will be a disclaimer tag on the back of this one because this is not airbag compatible um, for the rear seat. so. Um, that's why that has that tag there. Okay, so starting with the bases, I like to get the small one out the way first. What you want to do is, there's a tab down the front of this uh, base, and what you want to do is you want to pull that, and that allows you the access to be able to lift it up. So now you have complete use of all the compartments and everything as well, which you probably already know about. What I like to do is, I like to open the base up, and slide that basically semi over top like how you would have it when it's finished. Also grabbing the back of it, putting it in between the gap at the back, going underneath the buckle because you don't want to cover that. So do that and lifting it up and you can even pull that flap down if you need to. It's got the Velcro on the back of it, that just pops down as well as all this. First of all, you've got this flap right here that has Velcro on both sides. So what I like to do is I like to pull it down as hard as possible and then wrap it around and that goes underneath there. And the reason for that is because this Velcro at the back actually goes over top of that, as well as this side of the Velcro. So you do that first. And then what you want to do is you want to grab all these Velcro straps. There'll be one on the side here, one at the top. And that is it for now. And then that should be pretty well sorted. Okay, so that's that done. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your next base, which is the 60 side, so the bigger side. So again, unfolding all that, getting all the corners out. And then you want to grab the little tag and you want to lift that. So that allows you access to pop this side up now. So again, putting this around the seat, try to get all the corners semi-level, and then remembering to put those flats at the back through the gap. And you want to put them all the way down, going underneath the buckles, because again, you don't want to cover them. And then you can even reach from underneath and pull them down. And then they will attach to the back. Like the other side, you also have that strap here. So again, you wanna make sure that you have 
that put on first before this velcro so you wrap that around nice and tight and that's got double side so this velcro can actually go straight on top of it and then you have these front ones and they just wrap around and attach straight away and just go around see if you can find any more there should be only three of these kind and then all the back plus that uh, uh, side strap on this side and that's it keep these tabs out of the way for you for later on though because you don't want to uh, mess them up and then that's that base done next what I would suggest is doing the armrest so to do the armrest get it out first open the cover up make sure it's all accessible the hole that's in it is for where the cup holder parts are so what you want to do is you want to grab that on one side grab it on the other side try keep it as straight as possible and just slide it on next what you want to do is you want to grab the flap at the front and you want to put it in the gap underneath and feed that up here so you want to be able to grab that pull that through nice and tight and goes straight on top of that velcro and that's that done okay now that we've got the armrest on what we need to do next is the backrest so what i suggest is pull all your headrests off because you want full access to the backrest pull all them off and just put them to the side next grab your backrest so you will notice that one side has all the eyelet hoops so that is obviously the top they they are going to go and pop over top of them but first before we do that you need to open the roll up make sure all the velcro is available and the first main part of the thing is you need to put it behind this seat belt otherwise if the cover goes on it's going to cover that seat belt too and you won't be able to use it so cover the seat belt first and then just get the corner over the top and start off by putting all the eyelet holes over the eyelets just so you can see where they're going to line up to and again put this top corner over the corner of the cover okay so once you put the two top corners on you'll see it will start to basically go in the line that it needs to so what's next is obviously the top corner goes on and then you want to try get these sides just down there and they will naturally just grab to the sides of the seat try keeping it all nice and flat you want to do that and then you'll want to tuck these top corners in between the seat itself and the back wall just so it looks nice and presentable um, keep it underneath there and just wrap it around nicely and then push it all the way down the side keeping it nice and straight then all you got left is these flaps at the bottom right? and the two velcros on the side with the velcros on the side all you need to do is you need to wrap your hand around and just attach them to the carpet on the back of the seat since the uh, car seat doesn't actually pop forward so you want to try to do that if you have a problem with wrapping the side velcros around i suggest that you lift the seat base and you reach underneath um, and you can actually grab it and pull it across and then attach it to the carpet on the back um, of the backrest next what we're going to do is we need to get these flaps to be able to wrap underneath and attach to the back as well but it's a little tricky so easiest way is to again lift the seat base push those velcro flaps down push them all down including that side little one you want access to everything lifting that all the way up and you'll want to grab them from underneath if you want to lift the seat base you want to grab these velcros from underneath and you'll notice there's a bar at the back between the backrest and itself you want to go behind that bar because you don't want it to go around it you want to go between it so when you push these through 
try get them in between that bar first. It might be a little tricky because the Velcro will obviously keep trying to attach to the carpet, but you just want to get those flaps behind that bar first before you do anything. So once you get the flaps in between that bar and the uh, backrest itself, you just want to wrap them up and attach them to the carpet. And you want to do that with both sides. So you got one flap here, one flap here. You also got the little, little one that has a little bit of Velcro on it. You want to wrap that around as well, as well as another flap on the 40 side and another little one on the end. So do that now. Next thing to do is your rear headrest. So what I like to do is when I put them on, always keep that um, little tag facing the front on all headrests. So you just wrap it over and try to keep those lines nice and straight. Try to keep the uh, Velcro tabs in between the two bars nice and straight as well. And just wrap that over and attach it. And it should look something like that keeping that bolt down bit facing forward because that's the bit that the head actually goes against. So you just pop that in, press the button, and adjust it to the height you want. Likewise with the two side ones, the tags also face forward as well. So slide it on, and that just slides on nice and easy. Again, keeping those straps in between the bars nice and straight. Velcro and Velcro. Again, opening that up. Tag is on the front. On the headrest, keeping it straight, straight, and boom. And there you go. There you go, guys. All finished and all looks good. Um, if you have any problems, feel free to contact us. Uh, hopefully the video explained it enough, but if you do have any more questions, feel free to contact us by email, message or calling, um, and we'll be happy to help. So stay safe, stay protected, have a great day.